Okay. Um, the next talk is uh, by uh, Jun Zhang, uh, Balloon Compression Instead of MVD. Dr. Zhang. Uh, good morning, everybody, and uh, good evening, everybody. Today, I'm continuing my topic about uh, the treatment of trigeminal neuralgia. Uh, yesterday, I talked about uh, a minimal invasive to the brain when you uh, manipulation to do the surgery. So we should uh, put a, a safety first always and make a good balance between Q and the safety. That's my philosophy. So I think uh, we should do more minimal invasive surgery. So about three years ago, I started a, a percutaneous blood compression procedures. Today I will share my um, also I mean a kind of uh, philosophy or strategy to the surgery surgery. So the most important thing is, is uh, how does the balloon work? So there are some paper, some previous studies about the mechanism. But this is uh, Max Cal. What does Max Cal have? So I think uh, most of people uh, for example, Dr. Brown uh, make an uh, experiment with the lapis. He put uh, a balloon into the lapis max cow and to see the micro view, that means uh, pathological uh, examination. You know, the max cow can sense uh, malignated fibers, that means for, for, for sensor and uh, the signal without marring, but that means the C fibers, can sensing fibers. And uh, but I didn't find any picture in the paper about a room in the position. So I just uh, make a ask the lady to install it to press the the balloon in the in the levels. So when we put a room to compress to inflate in the uh, max cow, they found the thicker mm -hmm. marinated fibers will distract more than the thinner. That means the thicker high fibers is uh, vulnerable than the can sensing fibers. And the other thing, number two is the neuron, neuron will less damage than the axons. This is axons. So, they make a conclusion. They said that the balloon compression created a preferential injury to the marinated axons from the trigeminal sensory route and thus interfering, interfering with pain transmission. Um, I can make a conclude, make it easy. So the kind of hypothesis thing is like this. That there are different fibers. For example, this is for the position and the, for the in the muscle and the, in the skin. There are some uh, 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 sensory sensory receptor, and uh, there's some the bigger one with heavily marinated, and the <coughs> green wave is seen the marinated. This is. Uh, the the magnetic is for position for touching and uh, this one the single one without the marine is for pen sense so when the balloon inflated in max cow the most uh, uh, damaged uh, uh, tissue uh, uh, the passion is the uh, this part heavily magnetic no fibers uh, I don't know how come they solve the pen problem. So I think that there's some question. This, this, this cell is questionable. They, they just build the nerve fibers like the electric wires and something happened like the, the shot. Uh, the, 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 like this, like the electric, uh, like the physical electric. So I would say the 
by electricity is uh, totally different uh, with the physical electricity. Should, it should be like this with solar channel. Why I channels? So it's uh, totally different. See? So the short circuit won't happen in by electricity. No, it's not happened. Number one. Number two, you see, this is micro. Uh, I'm sorry, this is the uh, max scale. And uh, the neuron is uh, just a, a counter for a very, the short, very small part. So of course, when you put a, a balloon in this area, uh, like in Chinese other saying, you don't worry about the sky fall down. There's a taller, the tallest people will support for you. So the tallest will damage the most. That's, that's normal. And I didn't find any picture in the infrared balloon. That means I, I, I cannot show if the, the balloon may in the right position, right? And the most important thing, they didn't use the trigeminal new radio model, just a normal rabbit. You can solve the problem. So it was unable to determine whether the pressure had been focused on the ganglia or not. Not to mention the correlation between the above results and the pen's ratio. So where is the target? Really exact target. A lot of people believe the target is no fibers. If you target no fibers, because prefer no can repair on the regenerate after injury. So the current is something will happen sooner or later, right? Why you focus on the neuron, the matter of the neuron, so that's totally different thing. Logically, appropriate compression may selectively damage the pen sensing neurons and save others as far as possible. So if you make this thing, put a, a appropriate compression against the ganglia, the neuron, a pain-free and non-less outcome without the currents can be expected. Do you agree with me? So my assumption is, normally, this is the receptors that generate the um, action potentials and go along with the fibers and here, ganglion, the semilunar ganglion. Uh, make a support, I uh, mean ATP, the energy support or to support the, the action potentials to go slow the nerves, nerves to the brain so you feel a uh, impulse, you feel pain so that's a normal thing but when you the vessel compress this area so the action potentials emerge from here that means ectopic action potentials. When these action potentials, while the no fibers go to the cortex, you feel uh, a abnormal pain, very heavy, so you can uh, uh, bearable. It's not bearable. So MED is here. You don't do anything in the nerve. We just uh, push away the vessel. So that means you etiological treatment, but it should open the brain to do the craniotomy, that means dangerous. And uh, balloon compress here, you see, like a part of the nerve. It, it can get some nerves, but the, the patient can be, can be relieved the nerves, uh, the, the numbness means, after a couple of months. So the most important thing is the power of the power of the GGM now. So that's sort of the problem. So what's the ganglia? I make a um, anatomy explanation, anatomical explanation for you guys. That's like a traffic circle round about. The three nerves, fibers converge into root like this. I just use the 
uh, Norton's uh, anatomy. So here, this is uh, Max Kell, and uh, but this is a rootlet. And you see, this is areas something like different from the others. That this is like semi ruler. This is ganglia. What does ganglia mean? You see, this is no. This is the exome. Exome. This is the somato. We call neurons. Exome. So neuron generated the action potentials and the can go along with the no fibers. And uh, what does the max cow have? The rootlets, this is the rootlets, like the exome. And here is the neurons. Neurons, you see? This is, a, the neurons just account a very small part in the uh, max cow. So of course, uh, if you just put the uh, balloon inside it, the damage the more in this area. So you should focus on this area. That's what I suggest. You will get the more good result. What's the advantage of a gross or radio, radio frequency rise this is for for this gross or radio frequency like this here. Like we put a stone into the water and the power of the concentration will get decreased from the center to the outside. But the PVC, the broom, when you put a broom like a pair to fully cover the max cow that can conduct the pressure and the focus the pressure in this area, this is the semilunar ganglia. So that's the neuron, the word the current, right? So I think why PVC is better than the others? Because he can put the, a correct uh, pressure against the, the neuron. So that's the advantage. So I should always put so your emphasis on the button. So this is the same patient. And with the same volume of injections, so as firstly I should make sure this is a, a, a pear shape. Then I deflect it to pull it through the back, and make a this a, this shape, not a, a pear, but this is better than that one. That means put emphasis on the button. Like this, you should pull it but not to it too much, like Confucius said, <laughs> not too much like this. You will burst the, the balloon. Okay, so why I, in, in the recent years, I prefer the PVC, I would say the fascination of PVC lies in the uncertainty of the fluoroscopic projection rather than the certainty of microscopic view of MVD which leaves you a variety of um, imagination. All right, thank you so much. Thank you, uh, Jun. I don't think he's online. He, oh, fabulous. He might be able to answer some questions directly. Can you hear me now? Hi, Jun. Thank you for joining us in Vancouver. Are there any questions uh, for Dr. Zhang? Yes, Fernando, by microphone so we can hear you, please. Thank you. Wonderful presentation. I want to ask you, uh, how, how many CCs do you use? Yeah, and do you use the manometer for, for that or no? Sorry, I didn't understand. What, what do you mean? Yeah, um, and I'm asking you for the balloon inflation. How many cc's do you use? How many quantity? How many liquid? How many volume of the- But yeah, energy. volume, volume. Yeah, it doesn't matter. So the important thing, it depends on the, the, the imaging. You, you saw the imaging in the- okay. Actually, the projection for the scopical imaging. So you get a, a bigger uh, pair of sharp, it's okay. Basically, about around uh, 
half of a millimeter. Okay, and uh, how how long you, you how many minutes? Uh, the time is getting less and less. In the beginning, yeah. about three years ago, I yeah. was spent uh, more than two minutes. But recently, yesterday, I, I, no, nowadays I just use the about a one minute is enough. But the problem, problem condition is the pair with a, a round button pair. That's very important. Okay. I mean, at least the bet. Yeah. Okay. I use the manometer only. Uh, I mean, to control the pressure, the pressure because you have to use the one and a half atmosphere. And, and I do only 90 seconds. Yeah. Only like that. that. I don't yeah. think uh, the monitor, the measure, the pressure is, is, is a good idea because you have found this. There's a difference, a, a, a large difference between uh, individual and individual. The every person, the large, uh, the older one or the younger one, the much different. So the most important that you have a feeling on your, your finger, your thumb. When you uh, syringe, put your syringe, your thumb will feel the feedback. That's very important. Okay, you know thank you. I mean? yeah. yeah, thank you. And there's a question online. Hi, Dr. Anton. Uh, Fujimaki from Japan speaking. I'm oh. sorry. I, my question is regarding Sintin Lin's uh, presentation. Because uh -huh. you are both working together. At the end of his surgery, he covered the facial nerve with some another material. Do you know what he is using for that? I'm sorry, what, what do you mean the, the material? Actually, the end of the, the some dissection after the facial nerve, he covered the facial nerve with something. Oh, you mean the MVD surgery, right? No, 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 no. The, the uh, extracranial decompression for synkinesis. Uh, I didn't get you. So can you explain it again? Yes, no, I, actually. Be, mm -hmm. Okay, maybe we will discuss at the email. Thank you. Okay, you can email me. I'm sorry because today is a working day. My office didn't have the camera, so I just uh, log on in. Sorry. Well, I'm it's late. okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. Any other questions uh, for Jean? Jun? Thank you very much, Jun. Thank you. Uh, that brings our meeting to a, con a conclusion. Thank you very much uh, for sharing your knowledge. I, I have learned more uh, than I thought I would, and uh, I have learned uh, so much because we've shared our knowledge amongst each other. Thank you very much. Um, safe travels home, and I uh, hope we uh, meet again in the future. Cheers. <laughs>